Welcome to our lecture online. What we're going to do from now on is show all the various concepts that you should understand, know, and know how to solve very quickly as soon as you see the problem. Now, we do have entire sets, entire playlists of videos on each one of these concepts if you want to take a look at it in detail and see lots of examples of that. These are just meant to be overview of concepts and give you the general approaches that you should try to memorize. So here, the first thing we're going to do is talk about errors and uncertainty. Now, whenever we take measurements, let's say we measure something and we find it to be A, there's going to be some uncertainty in that measurement. It could be a little bit more, a little bit less than what we measured, and that's what's called plus or minus the uncertainty. Now, if we have two numbers that we must multiply, such as the length and the width of an object, then we're going to do it as follows. A and B are the measured values, small a and small b are the uncertainties in that measurement. And so then the product of that will be A times B plus or minus A divided by big A, which is the fraction of the uncertainty relative to the measurement, converted to a percentage, and then add that to the fraction of the uncertainty in B divided by B, again, times 100%. With other words, we're adding the percent uncertainties together when we multiply two numbers. What happens when we divide two numbers? Well, the same thing. We're going to divide A by B, but again, just like when we multiply, we're going to add the percent uncertainties. These are the fractional uncertainties, and we convert those to a percent. What do we do when we add and subtract? When we add and subtract A plus B, notice we end up adding the uncertainties in the final answer. If we subtract, we do exactly the same thing. A minus B is the answer you get, but the uncertainty will be the sum of the two, not the difference of the two, just like with addition, because we need to make sure that we include all the possible answers with this uncertainty when we subtract. When we square a number, for, for example, A plus or minus the uncertainty small a, that's the same as A squared plus or minus twice the uncertainty in the measurement. And if we take the square root, a plus or minus a, then we get the square root of a plus or minus half the uncertainty that we had in our measurement. So these are some basic rules. They're not a complete set of all the rules, but the basic rules of the basic mathematical processes by which you need to take care of the uncertainties in your measurement. And I've seen in the JEE test that they do indeed have problems where you have to understand how to find the uncertainty in your final answer. And that is how it's done. Yeah, we have a playlist. Um, we'll put a link in the description box. Yeah, why don't we do that? Put a link in the description box to the first problem in the playlist. Yeah. Or the playlist. Hmm? Or the entire. For well, when you go to the playlist, you typically go to the first problem in the playlist. I know, but this is playlist of the right. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Playlist. Okay, and that will be the case with all of them. All the videos we're going to show, we have entire playlists about that one concept, but we're just covering the concept in, the, in, uh, no, in overview so you can quickly see what you need to memorize. Okay. 